Hello everybody, so here I will make some update on this conductive cloth which I show you how to make in my previous video. So actually uh, I make another sample of this conductive cloth uh, where I use a little bit more conductive material in the paint. So here I have this conductive cloth which is made with this, how to say, basic uh, conductive paint which I also mentioned in my previous video and this conductive cloth have the resistance of about 20 ohms 19.2 ohms And here I have another sample and here I use some uh, conductive paint uh, with a little bit more conductive material which is actually the graphite powder. So actually to make this conductive cloth I use the paint where I increase the conductive material by 30%. So actually the entire, uh, the entire recipe uh, to make uh, the conductive paint is the same I only increase the amount of the graphite powder by 30% and the conductivity drops to about 10 ohms not bad but like I also said in my previous video, I'm also interested into the conductivity of the Z direction. And again, I will use two uh, metal plates, which one metal plate will be on the bottom and another metal plate will be on the top. So right now I will measure the resistance of the Z direction. I will also push a little bit more down. And the resistance is 0 0.3, 0 0.2 ohms. So the point of this video is to show you uh, what you can get if you increase the conductive material by only 30%. I also need to mention that this conductive cloth is actually not meant to be used uh, in the batteries or supercapacitors like current collectors. Because for the current collectors in the batteries it's really 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 important that the resistance of the current collector material is slow as possible. And for this reason, this conductive cloth cannot be used like a current collector in the battery or supercapacitor. Because this, this conductive cloth, I use like host material or active material. So if I want to intercalate some ions into the structure of the graphite, then I can use this like active material or in another scenario I can use this conductive cloth like a host material and just for example if I want to make some let's say zinc manganese battery then this I can use like host material for forming some manganese dioxide into the structure of this conductive cloth. So in this case some manganese sulfate electrolyte is socket into this uh, conductive cloth and after charging of the battery, some manganese dioxide will start to form in this structure. So in this case, the conductive cloth will hold the electrolyte in place and also will act like host material for manganese dioxide. So once again, the conductive cloth can be used like active material or host material in the battery. For the current collectors, you will need to use some material which have some high conductivity. And just for example, here I have some graph foil or graphite foil, which can be used like current collectors in the battery or supercapacitor because it have some really, really low resistance.
0 0.2, 0 0.1 is the square resistance. And for this reason, when I make my battery, then I use first the current collector, which is made from uh, this grapple. And on the top of this grapple, I put my active material or the host material. Like for example, this uh, conductive cloth. So don't use the conductive cloth like a current collector in your batteries or supercapacitors. So guys, this was this little update on how you can make yourself some really easy and also really, really cheap conductive cloth. Because the another way of making some carbon conductive cloth or any kind of carbon uh, conductive material will be with the thermal process. And in case that you want to graphitize some material, then this thermal process will require the temperature from 1000 to 2000 degrees C in some non-oxygen environment. And sadly for the most people, this thermal process will be not possible to do it at home. But in case that you still want to make some conductive cloth, like I do over here, uh, for this reason I make this video, where you can make again some really cheap and really really easy conductive cloth. So guys, that's it for now and we we'll see us in the next video. Bye.